Hello guys, hope you are all doing well. It's Josh here from Atomic Cards with another Pokemon Master Set video for you. And today we're looking at our 151 Master Set. So we're we're into the middle of Paldean Fates now, which is our most recent uh, special set. And this was the special set that came before. So like Paldean Fates, there is no uh, individual booster packs for 151. It was all special collections, ETBs, things like that that you had to get the booster packs in. So it was one of the one of our most popular sets uh, recently. A lot of people coming back in who we hadn't seen for a while. A lot of people who were new to the hobby. A lot of kids coming in just for 151 because it is those that first 151 Pokemon. So full of all the nostalgia from when we were little. Now I've put it into a pink Vault X binder. There was a binder collection that came out with the set where you got a similar binder, um, not a zipped Exotech one, but a strapped uh, standard one. Um, those only held 360 cards, which was enough for every card in the player's guide. So you could put in your normal cards and reverse hollows and the secret rares, but you couldn't put any extra cards in. You couldn't leave some spaces that we like to do. So we put it into this pink Voltex binder, because of course pink for Mew. And we've got the Mew playmat down there that came out of the UPC. So if we're going on the first page, and the first thing you may notice about this set is that it is not laid out like a normal Pokemon set. So normally we would go um, Grass, Fire, Water, which we are doing there, but we go Grass, Fire, Water, Electric. We go through all the types, um, and we do them in Pokedex order in those types. In this one, we are just going Pokedex order the whole way. So Bulbasaur starts us off. Bulbasaur is Pokemon number one. Ivazor is number two, and then we've got the Venusaur EX here, Venusaur is Pokemon number three. Um, you will also be able to see I put Venusaur there in a pink diamond dragon shield sleeve, just to give them that extra bit of protection that we do for some of our rarer cards, our full arts and things. We've then got Charmander, Charmeleon, and then Charizard, who are four, five, and six. And then we've got Squirtle down here. Now, there were stamped cards of Squirtle with Pokemon Center stamped on him if you pre-ordered the UPC. And there was a Bulbasaur one with 151 on it as well um, if you ordered some stuff from uh, various retailers. I haven't included them in here because so I don't include stamped cards with my sets. But those are available and if you have them you might want to put them in. I know some people do. But there's the War Turtle and there's that Blastoise EX there. And now you can really see what I mean about um, not going in the types. So we've now go back to grass and then we've got some colorless over here as well. But we're just sticking with the Pokedex order. Does make it a little bit more difficult if you don't know your original Pokedex when you're sorting out your bulk um, to go through and put them into order. But I think it's a really cool way of doing it. And I would quite like to see them carry this on. I would quite like to see, you know, a 250 um a, a gold and silver version you know black and white versions all of that kind of stuff um because i do really like what they've done with this and if they could do it for every generation i think that'd be quite cool but there we got the yeah we got to blastoise we then got caterpie metapod and butterfree weedle kakuna and beedrum pidgey pidgeotto pidgeot ratata and then eradicate comes on the next page Spiro, Fero, Ekins, and Arbok EX there. We've then got Pikachu and Raichu. What you will also notice is nothing is being left out. So XY Evolutions, which has been one of the most popular sets of modern times, um, where booster packs are a lot of money right now, left out a lot of Pokemon. It was meant to be a reprint of all the originals, and it was going to be super cool, but it left out a lot of the original Pokedex. Um, so this is kind of, this is what we wanted XY Evolutions to be. Um, I have done a master set of XY Evolutions that I will uh, link down below if you want to go and check that out. Um, and you will see the amount of gaps that were in there of Pokemon that I would have quite liked to have been in the set, basically. But anyway, we've got Sandshrew and Sandslash as fighting. We've then got, if you re remember the originals, Nidoran and Nidoran... Nidoran female and Nidoran male before they made individual Pokemon females and males. We had Nidoran as a female, Nidoran as male, Nidorina, Nidoqueen there as well. Nidorino and Nidoking. 
Clefairy and Clefable, Vulpix and a Ninetales EX, got Jigglypuff and a Wigglytuff EX, Zubat, Crobat, got Oddish, Gloom and Vileplume, Paris, Parasect, Venonat, Venomoth, Diglett and Dugtrio, Meowth, Persian, Psyduck, Golduck, Mankey and Primate. And you've got Growlithe and Arcanine, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, and then we've got Abra, and this is our first uh, exclusive card that we've included in here, the Abra and the Kadabra, which were both from the Alakazam EX box. So as you can see, they've both got that nice Cosmo Hollow pattern on them, which looks really good going through the borders of the cards, I think. Um, rather than just on the picture, you can really see it nicely in the borders. We have Abra and Kadabra there. So I've added both of those in. I haven't included the Alakazam EX promo. That's gone into my promo binder. But we've just then got the normal Alakazam EX. We've then got Machop, Machoke and Machamp. Bellsprout down here. In reverse up there. Weeping Bell and Victory Bell. Then got Tentacool, Tentacruel, Geodude, Graveler and Golem EX. Ponyta, Rapidash. Slowpoke, Slowbro, Magnemite, Magneton, Farfetched, Doduo, Dodrio, Seal, Dugong, Grimer, Muck, Shelder, Cloyster, Ghastly, and Haunter. Not gone two pages there. There we go. Gengar, really cool artwork on the Gengar. Onyx, Drowsy, and Hypno. Krabby, Kingler, Voltorb, Electrode, Execute, Executor, Cubone, and Marowak. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Lickitung, and Coffin. Weezing, Rhyhorn, Rhydon. Chansey, Tangler, Kangaskhan EX. Horsey, Cedra, Goldeen. Seeking, Star You and Star Me, and Mr. Mime, Cypher, and then Jinx EX there. Electabuzz again is another one that's got a Cosmo Hollow. So Electabuzz Hollow here in the middle. The uh, non hollow comes out of the booster packs. The, rever the um, Cosmo Hollow came from the Zapdos EX box. And then we've got the reverse hollow again from the booster packs. Magmar. Pinsa, Tauros, Magikarp, Gyarados, Lapras, the really nice looking Ditto, Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon, Porygon, Omanite, Omastar, Kabuto, Kabutops, and Aerodactyl, Snorlax, Articuno, the Zapdos EX, Moltres, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, Mewtwo here, and it ends with a Mew EX. So that is all of that, the main set. We then leave a nice gap here before we go into the trainers, but that's the main set of Pokemon. Um, things like the Metapod Reverse Hollow, Nidoran and um, Male Reverse Hollow were two very hard ones to find, apparently. Um, we got lucky and managed to pull them both. It was things like the Dragonair Reverse Hollow were some of our last Reverse Hollow cards to get. We'll go into our trainers now. And this is why we leave that gap so the trainers all marry up and look really nice on the one page together. So you've got the um, Antique Dome Fossil and Antique Helix Fossil, which we all remember from our red and blue games. You've got the Antique Old Amber, the Big Air Balloon, Bill's Transfer, Cycling Road, Daisy's Help, Energy Sticker, Erica's Invitation, Giovanni's Charisma, Grabber and Leftovers. And then we've got our last two of Protective Goggles and Rigid Bands. And that brings us into these full arts. Again, leaving a gap to make sure the full arts get the full page that they need. So the full arts are really cool in this set. The evolution lines 
of the starters. You could get them all in the same packs. I wasn't lucky enough to get a God pack with them all in. But you could get those packs where you would pull Bob's or Ives or Venusaur in a row. What I am disappointed with, which I think I've said before, is um, that we don't have Venusaur EX here. Um, keeping it in number order, the Venusaur EX has to go at the back. Um, I understand why they do it, to put all the um, SIR um, EXs together and all of these um, Illustrator Rares together. But it would be quite cool to have it with the whole three in a line. But anyway, you've got Bob's or Ives or Charmander Charmeleon, who are like in a gorge looking up. And Squirtle, Water Tool um, in the water. You've got a Caterpie, cool looking Pikachu, Nidoking, Psyduck, very nice Polyrath, uh, not Polyrath, Polywhirl, very nice Polywhirl in the water. You get it in the right light, it does look really, really cool on the puddles. And then a Machoke down here as well, helping move house. Tangler, Mr. Mime. Omanyte and another really cool one, the Dragonair. That was one of our last cards to find. Then you go with Full Arts. We've got Venusaur EX, Charizard EX, and Blastoise EX. Arbok EX, Ninetales EX, Wigglytuff EX, Alakazam EX, Golem EX, Kangaskhan EX, Jinx EX, Zapdos EX, and we've got the Mew EX up here as well. Full Art Trainers, you just got the four of them. We've got Bill, Bill's Transfer, Daisy's Help, Erica's Invitation, and Giovanni's Charisma. Those are the double silver star ones. We then go into the double gold star cards, and this is where we've got that Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise, which I will try and bring up for you, because they do look really nice, these cards. Really cool, especially the Blastoise, the way they uh, the texture goes in that bubble around him. Really cool cards. I was lucky to get three or four of the Charizards. Got quite a few of him. Um, so I was able to trade that away for a lot more of the set. But yeah, weren't too uncommon. You've got Alakazam EX down here. And you've got Zapdos EX. That was our last double gold that we needed, the Zapdos EX. Um, then you've got the two double gold trainers of Erika and Giovanni's Charisma. You've got a Golden Mew EX. Golden Switch and the Golden Psychic Energy. So I see in there we ha they have taken out things like Mewtwo and the Mew EX to put into the UPC. There's also a Gold Mew, uh, a Gold Metal Mew that goes in there as well. I haven't included them. I've included them in different places. But if you wanted to put them in, that's where they would go. I've then put all the energies on the final page. So these are all the uh, the shiny energies with the Cosmo Hollow pattern on. Now, there are two different types of patterns you can get on these energies. Um, I haven't gone for getting both. I've just gone for one of one of each type of energy. But there is like a um, there is the old Cosmo Hollow pattern that we know. And there is then the even older like one with HD swirl on it. But yeah, there are two different hollow patterns that you can get. I've just gone for one of each. Um, it fits better on the page. It would mean we'd have to have another four and we'd go on to the next page. So yeah, I've just gone with the eight because I think that looks really cool. And really to an untrained eye, you can't tell the difference. So I've just gone with the eight. But there you are, that's my 151 set. We will pop it back to this page, which is obviously the best page in this book. I'll leave it on there. And thank you all for watching, guys. If you do have any questions, do leave us a comment down below. Let us know. Um, ask us where we got some of the cards from. If you've got any questions about what we do with our set, let us know how far you're getting on with your set and what cards you need from it. And of course, while you're there, if you could leave us a like and subscribe to the channel, guys, we do really appreciate it. It does help us out massively. But thank you all for watching, guys, and have yourselves a great day.